Hey everybody, I'm Pastor Sean, and I have the honor of bringing you today's word for the day. Today's proverb is in chapter 21, verse 31, and it says this, The horse is made ready for the day of battle, but victory rests with the Lord. And there's a simple question in this proverb, and it's one, if you've been a Christian for any amount of time, that you've probably come across. But the question is this, when it comes to any challenge or obstacle in life, where do you put your confidence? I'm sure you know where I'm going with this, but we should ask in our day-to-day struggles and even our eternal trajectory, where, what, or who do we put our confidence? Let's break this passage down real quick and let's try to answer this question as honestly as we can. Real quick, we're gonna break down four things in this passage to help us understand it. Number one, the horse. The horse is made ready. This is referring to our own skill or ability or works in this life. We prepare and we put in diligent work on the day of battle. And this, this is the place where most people put their confidence in. Most without even thinking about it. You work hard and you earn the victories in life. The horse is referring to putting our hope and confidence in ourselves for victory in this life. Which brings us to our second word, battle. We prepare for the day of battle. And I believe this is referring to any portion of our life, immediate or eternal, that can have a victory or a failure your promotion at work, being an awesome parent, serving at the church, and more, are all opportunities with a one or zero outcome, victory or loss. Our third word, victory, here we have to ask ourselves, what even is victory? Who defines what is good or bad? And all this rests on God's definition of what it means to be victorious in this life. And ultimately, any definition of victory needs to include the most important one. And that is our battle against sin and death and their timely defeat on behalf by God. Because let's be real, victory should not be defined as making the most money or driving the nicest car. The best and the only victory that actually matters in life is this. Are you saved into eternal life with God? That is the only thing that has an internal, eternal impact on you. Every other one pales in comparison. But where you're going for all eternity That's what matters. The last word we need to define is the Lord. Why does victory rest with the Lord? Well, number one, that's because Jesus has died and was risen again, being victorious over death, but not just for himself, for all of us. And this win transcends all space and time, and it's a battle we could never prepare for nor win. That's why we put all of our confidence in him because he saw our need, he saw our striving and our preparations and our war horses, and he looked down and said, that's never gonna be enough. You can't win in this life alone. And Jesus took it upon himself to free us in glorious victory over death and give us eternal life. With the Lord Jesus is the only appropriate place to rest our hope in. Everything else will fail because there's no amount of prepping or use of our skills, or work from our hands, or clever thoughts from our minds that can save us from the biggest battles in our life. No, those battles are won by God and God alone. Our confidence, if it were an investment, should all be put towards God. Big battles, small battles, God is willing to fight them all for us and bring us victory in life we could only imagine. Now, a quick side thought. If you feel like you do put all your hope in Jesus and yet victory keeps escaping your grasp, number one, I'm sorry. It's not an easy place to be, I know. And to feel like you just can't win in life, it's just a bad situation. But when you're ready, I think you need to redefine what victory is. What can your enemies actually take from you if God has given you a hope, a promise, and a victory that transcends any worldly understanding? No, when you're ready, keep putting your confidence in God because the battle that mattered most has already been won by Jesus, and it defines what victory looks like in our lives from there on, not the world around us. So no matter if you're the most well-equipped Christian or the least, the ultimate victory does not rest on you or what you bring to the table. It 100% rests on God. Have a good day, Calvary, and may you be victorious in Jesus' name.